The median strips located on Braddock Road and Burke Lake Road have not been maintained. Trees planted by volunteer organizations need to be trimmed and dead ones removed. How can the Fairfax County Board of Supervisors aid in this effort? Between unkempt trees and overgrown weeds, the Braddock District does not present well. We'll start with Janet Olasek. The reason it doesn't present well is because we don't have enough money in the budget. When my incumbent, your incumbent, votes against the budget two years in a row, he votes against funding those important uh, activities, but not only the transportation problems and the school issues of increased need in schools. Our school system is a majority minority school system. The competing dollars for transportation, for education, for public safety, make this a very, very nuanced job to deal with. I don't believe we've had that kind of leadership in Braddock District. Th thank you. John, John Cook. Great question, and I agree completely with the premise of the question, which is our roadways are a disgrace. The roads are not only ugly with the high grass, they're dangerous, uh, and uh, they reduce our property values when people see them. But uh, Janet, the county doesn't own the roads. Uh, the state does, and the state has cut maintenance funding, so it only mows the streets three times a year. I've called for local control of local roads so that we would mow at least six times a year. Now, you criticized that in a press release last week, but today you just said that you would uh, vote for more money, apparently, in response, response to a question about uh, the, the grass being high. So the point is that the wrong governmental entity is taking care of our roadways. It should not be the state. It should be the local government under a new system that isn't really new in the country because 47 other states have local government control local roads. We should do that. We should have a, a, a new formula with the state for what the state is going to give us to do that. And then we, uh, we can make the decision about putting local dollars in. And at least if local dollars go into our roads, uh, they won't go to Richmond and be spent in other places in the state. But 100% of the money that we would decide to pay would stay right here in Fairfax. In the short term, until I can convince my colleagues on the board to do that, uh, county executive is developing an adoption the highway program and uh, where you where citizens will be asked if, if they can help us with the roads it's a um, it's unfortunately a, a, a plan B but plan A is we need to take the roads 